he gets there. The alternative media, Jerry. That's where you hear the truth. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. You're listening to The Morning Monarchy for Friday, April 14th, 2017. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. And as we talk about what we believe in and what we place value in, that gives us the perfect intro for this month's Deep Focus segment. It's where we talk about films and television shows that are worth taking a look at. David Lynch made a G-rated movie for Disney back in the day called The Straight Story. It's about a man who rides his tractor cross-country to go see his ailing brother. Now, the only Danny Boyle movie that isn't rated R is kind of a kid's Christmas movie about saints, but it's also about money and what we value and what we believe in. Millions is a 2005 British comedy drama film directed by Danny Boyle. The screenwriter, Frank Cottrell Boyce, adapted his novel of the same name while the film was being made, and his novel, Millions, was subsequently awarded the Carnegie Medal. Now, from the director of Train Spotting, and 28 Days Later comes a heartwarming story about a British family in transition after their mother's recent deaths. Recent death. Like a lot of kids, Damien spends much of his time daydreaming. Unlike a lot of kids, he happens to be quite knowledgeable about the Bible and also has an unusual hobby. He has imaginary conversations with Catholic saints. It becomes evident that this is his way of coping when we see him ask if they've maybe met his mother in heaven. The plot kicks into gear when Damien is greeted with a large bag of cash that literally falls from the sky. Damien calls it a gift from God and quickly establishes himself as the film's moral compass. He resists the pleadings of his selfish big brother and decides that the money should be given to the needy. But there's a catch. The UK is on the verge of switching to the euro, so time is of the essence as this money will become worthless. The two boys embark on a series of humorous attempts to quickly disperse the funds. Go! I've not seen you two here before. We just moved here. Our mum's dead. Yeah, well, go on. You're all right. Thanks. God bless. Works every time. Tell your mum's dead and they give you stuff. Every time. When your world is a magical place... To the CC, 11 81 till 12 Where anything is possible. Claire of Assisi, 11 till 12 53. That's right. Even a miracle is no surprise. I thought it was from God. What? Well, I told God about man. Spend it. Are you poor? Are you asking for money? Because we don't have any. Brilliant! Take the change. Oh, thanks, mate. See, it becomes a one talk, eh? What are you looking for? Money. How much have you actually got? Plenty. Staring and biggest robbery on record ever. They've got people waiting all over the country. It is true, isn't it? About the money. What money? Everyone knows. This is what they were after. Where did it come from? It's mine. Talking to yourself, singing things. Look around you, Damien. The truth is, you're a loser. We're on our own. What man? She's dead, Damien. Are you really a saint? Of course I am. What was your miracle? It was you. Sometimes you see things and other people can't see them. Can you see me? Yeah. Not here, on there. To smoke, then. You can do what you like up there, son. I was going to tell you. I saw a captain by a mistake. You little belter. (laughs) 
So they do actually set this in Ireland, I believe. Because the UK never actually switched over to the Euro. So this film is from 2004-2005 from Danny Boyle. It's his only not horribly violent R-rated film. It's kind of a kid's Christmas movie. And definitely a lighter entry in our Deep Focus series, sure. But it was a film I always remember loving when I saw it. I've seen pretty much all of Danny Boyle's films. And really, since we've been talking about money so much here lately with Tulipomania, with our recent book smarts, with the Rothschilds musical, with our recent album analysis, I thought it'd be an interesting one to share with you and even see in the chat. Mubla says she watched it with her kids recently. I think it's a great movie for kids. So we'll include in the show notes a Christian article. This was actually a fairly popular movie, of course, because it didn't it didn't denigrate religion. So actually, religious outlets and places actually kind of cheered the movie. So we'll include some of those Christian answers, reviews, and of course the regular old Roger Ebert review and the Wikipedia entry and of course the trailer. But I think it's interesting, again, to sort of not only think about what we value, but that we've never had something like that happen in America that I know of. Definitely not in our age or generations. But could it be in the future? What if the thing you always thought had value suddenly didn't? And is there any difference between whether or not we're talking about saints or money? Millions. Your latest Deep Focus installment. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.